You didn't hear me wrong, artistic scientist, that's me. Why not? Well, you have already learned so much about doing science experiments at home. Let's take it one step further and see how science can be pretty too. No, they are not mutually exclusive. You can use science to do art. And in fact, there were many artistic scientists in history. I'm sure you have heard of at least one. One that is clever, talented, good looking, like me? Yes, Leonardo da Vinci, a genius during the Renaissance period. Some of his famous artworks include Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. The science part? Well, he was really interested in the workings of the human body and drew many sketches as part of his studies. You don't believe that I'm as good as my friend Da Vinci? Or, uh, well, actually, I'm still learning to be one. You saw me practicing on the piano just now. Anyways, I feel that anyone can be an artistic scientist. You just need some creative juices. Are you game to try out today since it's science o'clock? Do you know how to create frame-worthy art pieces using simple science concepts? If you do, share your creations with us. I'd love to see them. If you don't, continue watching. All you will need are food colorings, droppers, a dish with a little water, a small cup of oil, paper, preferably cut stock, and cloth for mess. In your small cup of oil, add in food colouring of your choice. Today, I am using blue. If you're feeling a little adventurous, you can try mixing two different colours and see what colour you'll get. For example, blue and red gives you purple. You can see that the food colouring remains as droplets in the oil. This is because the food colouring is water-based and does not mix well with oil. Using your dropper, give it a good stir. Now the droplets has become smaller in size. Next, pour your mixture into your water. Just like so. About three to four times. As your mixture settles in the dish, take a close look at the liquids. Do you realize that the oil remains afloat on water? This is because oil is less dense than water. In other words, the oil molecules are less tightly packed as compared to water. As your food coloring spreads, take your paper, take your dropper, Give you one last mix and then lay your paper flat. Wait for 30 seconds. One, two, three. And 30. That's 30 seconds. Gently lift your paper up. Don't worry about the mess. You can always clean up later. Your paper will feel a little oily, but this oiliness will go away in one to two days time. Isn't this pretty? And there you go. These are my art pieces that I created a few days ago. Aren't they masterpieces of art and science? Try it out for yourself and share with us photos of your stay-at-home art experiment by tagging us over here. That's all we have for you today on Science O'Clock. Hope to see you there. Take care and always stay curious. Bye-bye!